This and beyond, building business knowledge from the insiders. The last episode, we asked Kuntop to clarify general concept on the decentralized finance and how it built around the ecosystem. In this clip, we asked him on the impact, especially to the financial industry and what consumer like us need to adapt to the new open financial system. It sounds to me that um, with the whole of DeFi, the immediate industry that would impact or adapt to change on this would be financial industry. So would it be imagined that in the future we could live in the world without bank? The world is coming, becoming more and more digital mm -hmm. and software is eating up the world. Mm -hmm. Everything would be driven by software and computer program and that is the, the trend we see in various uh, industry. In the next era, we would in the next decade, we will see an, a new era of banking. We call it an open financial system, mm. an open banking system. Mm. And by open, it means innovation comes from anyone, anywhere, anytime. Mm. And open also means equal, equal access, mm. right? uh, financial inclusion. Mm. And open also means instant updates with the latest software, late, latest uh, innovations, without uh, too much latency. And again, if we were to understand the, uh, the, the future of banking or the future of finances, mm -hmm. the best way is to look at the music in the, in the industry. Mm -hmm. Before, uh, music were created by a single body and intermediaries. In Thailand, we have Grammy and I, I as, mm -hmm. as a, a big, big, mm -hmm. huge corporation to create music mm -hmm. and they have uh, mon monopoly authority mm -hmm. uh, over what the uh, listeners would be viewing, would be listening to, mm -hmm. how the music uh, were created in the past. Mm -hmm. But uh, with the arrival of the internet, with the arrival of the digital format of music, then we have a new players mm -hmm. in music. We have a, a platform business. Mm. We have a, a media platform. We have a, a music platform. It's called YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, YouTube is the biggest uh, media channels, uh, the biggest TV channels, the biggest music channel, mm -hmm. without owning any celebrities themselves, without owning any music, without producing music, without, without producing any content themselves, but they are, mm -hmm. but they are the, the largest music mm -hmm. providers. Mm -hmm. Innovation comes from anyone, anywhere, anytime. Mm -hmm. Anyone can uh, you know, become a singer, anyone can become a songwriter, and it's equal access because with the internet, um, the, cost, the marginal cost of production doesn't go up. Mm -hmm. So people with a single a phone that is connected to the internet can get access to music. Mm -hmm. And it's a cloud-based application, meaning that you know music would be equal access on any devices. Mm -hmm. With uh, the future of banking, with the future of finances, uh, we the biggest financial institutions in the world will be a financial institution without owning any capital themselves, mm -hmm. but they only allow free flow of capital. Mm -hmm. The biggest, you know, uh, real estates. Uh, hotel chain in the world. It's not no longer a Marriott mm -hmm. chain. It is becoming yeah, a, a platform business. Uh, for example, Airbnb or Agoda. Right? Mm -hmm. They are the biggest real estate company without owning any hotels mm -hmm. uh, room mm -hmm. themselves. But they only allow free flow mm -hmm. of people. Same with Facebook, they allow free flow of information. Mm -hmm. They're not the producer of information, mm -hmm. but they are the biggest media platform mm -hmm. in the world. So the biggest financial institutions in the world will be in you know, a platform business. Mm -hmm. And with a platform business, uh, you know, they no longer need to own capital. They only allow free flow of capital. And with this p financial platform, innovation, financial services, will become app, uh, you know, protocol based. Right? People can create protocols, an open source protocol, 
uh, innovation comes from anyone, anywhere, anytime. And the application layer, which is the, the, uh, the financial platform, can pick and, pick and choose mm -hmm. different protocols mm -hmm. you know, for the customer to, to access, mm -hmm. to get access to. Mm -hmm. Application layer would humanize all the DeFi layer, all the open source protocol mm -hmm. to make sure that people can remit money instantly, globally, in, mm -hmm. you know, frictionless. Mm -hmm. To make sure that customers can borrow, lend money, uh, the principle of, of, of banking is here to stay. Mm -hmm. uh, regardless of what generation we're in, mm -hmm. there's always a demand to lend money, to borrow money. There's always a demand to save money, to send money overseas, to transact. Mm -hmm. right? The principle are here to stay. Mm -hmm. But what is different is the way we deliver financial mm -hmm. services. Yeah. It's going to be an open system where competition comes from anyone, anywhere. Innovation mm -hmm. comes from anyone, anywhere, anytime. Mm -hmm. right? And that's when we're going to have, mm -hmm. you know, excitement mm -hmm. in the financial mm -hmm. space. Yeah. Uh, we will have a lot of new financial innovations and financial services that we cannot think of today that are beyond our imagination mm -hmm. because everyone around the world who can ha come and help innovate. We would create a lot more new things than a, a few bunch of people mm -hmm. in a s closed loop mm -hmm. system that gets to determine mm -hmm. uh, the interest rate uh, of the country, mm -hmm. uh, the inflation rate of the country, or how people should get access to banking. Global citizens with uh, 7 billion ideas would definitely win over a small bunch of people. Mm -hmm. Uh, determining uh, what uh, the rest of the world should be able to access. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like uh, people like us seem to benefit from this technology and development, but all the banking system needs to adapt quite a lot on you know this uh, latest technology. With the evolution of, of, of the world, uh, customers always win. We always get you know access to better, cheaper, faster mm -hmm. products. Mm -hmm. With competition, customers always win. Mm. With an open system, it brings more competition, it brings more innovation. Customers always win. Mm. Um, so we're, we're living in a better world. Mm. Right? And the world is going to get better and better. Uh, we, uh, humans, uh, uh, we, we are very good at creating things that uh, uh, remove uh, scarcity mm. right, in the past. We did not have enough communication. Communication was scarce until we invented TCP IP, until we, we invented Skype, Zoom. Mm -hmm. right, we can call each other for free now. Mm -hmm. We can also see faces. Mm -hmm. right. Food was scarce until we can grow uh, lab grown meat now. Right. Right. Food is no longer scarce. Mm -hmm. Light uh, was scarce until we invented electricity. Mm -hmm. right. um, we're living in a much better world. Right now, a lot of people are excluded from, from banking. 50% of the people in, in this region, in ASEAN, do not have access to a bank Proper account. Proper banking. Mm. And, uh, especially in the Philippines or in Indonesia, they are a cash-based society. Mm. There are islands, a lot of islands, and it's not profit, profitable to, to open a bank branch on every island. Mm. And there is a cost of maintain, maintaining accounts. Mm. And people with, with below threshold uh, of mi minimum income cannot open a bank account mm. because banks are making losses on those accounts. Mm. So they're excluded from traditional banking. With an open financial system, it would bring down the cost. We no longer need to maintain all these bank branches. If it's just becoming you know, capex, opex, or once we are able to reduce the cost. And the cost of innovation comes from anyone, anywhere, anytime then you know eventually customers are able to access banking you know in in a frictionless mm -hmm. open global mm -hmm. you know free mm -hmm. manner which you know customers always win in the future so that means um one last question would be and how would every one of us should um, learn or adapt into the new system that has been ch changing so that we can you know fully benefit from uh, those this is that world. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there are two, two groups. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, the front end uh, 
customer facing parts mm -hmm. or the the ones deliver financial services they would need to change the way they uh, run the company mm -hmm. they need to change the way the way they think they need to change the way uh, they deliver financial services to, to people. Mm -hmm. Once we understand that money will no longer be paper-based, mm -hmm. then we have to reskill, upskill mm -hmm. the employees, mm -hmm. the workers, mm -hmm. right, the, the, the people mm -hmm. uh, to have the right skill sets for the future, mm -hmm. right, to be able to code. Right? We, the, the bankers are, will becoming more programmers mm. uh, will be the, the future of bankers. Uh, the bankers of the future will no longer have the same skill set as today. They don't need to know banking, but they need to know how to program and coding instead. Right? Yeah, mm. they need to uh, know how to program. They need to know how to code mm -hmm. because the basic mon of money, the fundamental of money is a program. But for those users, uh, or technology user mm. customers group, uh, they they just need to have an open mindset and willing to try mm. and learn new applications. Um, just like those who try uh, Facebook or mm. who try to use Line to communicate with customers first, mm. always you know beat you know, the competitors to to customers. And so those who have an open mindset who love learning new things would definitely benefit from from new technology because new technology always bring down cost mm -hmm. always deliver faster mm -hmm. better cheaper services mm -hmm. so the the behavior of customers are changing but those who are able to change first would benefit first mm -hmm. uh, from the newest technology and i would say the most important skill uh, whether if you are a financial services providers or or if you are a customer, is the ability to to learn, mm. uh, continuous learning. Mm. We have to, to unlearn the old system. Mm -hmm. We have to unlearn the old behavior. We have to unlearn the old beliefs. Mm -hmm. And we have to relearn the new mm. system, mm. relearn the new environment, right? relearn the new behavior. Mm. Um, that is the most important skill, right. the ability to unlearn and relearn mm. things. Okay, so the last, last question is that, so if the bank has adapted um, into the more digitized um, system like this, then how would they um, make every one of us understand, especially suppose we are walking into the bank, um, it's not just really a young generation that I told, fully understand on, on this issue, but all the parents, uh, the, um, the adults that may not catch up with these things, how would bank could you know include all this all different kind of generation and make them understand the way that the world has changed? I guess it's the same transition to the smartphone. Mm. Before uh, the older generation did not you know uh, adopt uh, smartphone uh, technology. It takes time, mm. uh, but but customers are embracing new technology at a much faster and faster mm. rate. How long would it take uh, customers to, or uh, one technology to reach at least 50 million customers worldwide? Right? Uh, you know, the te television to it, it took television 50 years mm -hmm. to have at least 50 million, you know, viewers. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, for the home telephone, it took the home telephone 22 years to have 50 million users. Mm -hmm. It took the uh, internet. 14 years mm -hmm. to reach 50 million users. Mm -hmm. uh, it took smartphone seven years to have 50 million mm -hmm. you know, phone users. Mm -hmm. It took Facebook four years to have 50 million accounts. Mm -hmm. It took WeChat, WeChat one year <laughs> to have 50 million accounts. Pokemon Go is down to 18 months, right? Um, mm -hmm. Or uh, six months. So uh, customers are adopting new technology technology at a much and much uh, faster rate. And with the new generation, they are born with you know, iPad in mm -hmm. front of them already. They're used to being digital you know, literate by nature. I don't think the new generation would be walking to bank branches right now and do a deposit or mm -hmm. write a check 
and mm -hmm. they have to wait for a few days for the check to clear. They would uh, be sending values the same way they send messages, mm -hmm. uh, which is instant, frictionless, global. Um, so we don't we won't have any issues with the new generation, mm -hmm. but the older generation, we, it takes time for mm -hmm. them to adapt. Mm -hmm. Just like the uh, the internet, um, it would take uh, longer for my grandma to to order things online, online. <laughs> Deliver than my parents to order things online, mm -hmm. than my sister to order mm -hmm. things online. Mm -hmm. um, they have a deeper learning curve. And the reason they have a deeper learning curve is because they have to unlearn the old things. In, but for the new generation, they don't really need to unlearn the old behavior. They can just relearn. They can just learn the newest uh, technology, mm -hmm. right? They, have, they can just adapt to the new behavior right away without unlearning the old behavior, like unlearning the old beliefs. Um, so it will take longer for the older generation and it would have, you know, uh, we, don't, we, don't, we won't have any issues with the mm -hmm. new generation. So there will be this transition period mm -hmm. uh, in the next five years where we will see less and less numbers of uh, bank branches. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, the, we can see clear trends now of bank accounts, uh, bank branches closure around the country. Mm -hmm. uh, we see the shift in uh, the workers, uh, mm -hmm. or the em employee employee ratio towards more digital based, mm -hmm. digital literate, mm -hmm. uh, literate, uh, digital, uh, you know, engineers, uh, mm -hmm. blockchain, uh, computer programs. Mm -hmm. As bankers now, mm -hmm. we see less and less mm -hmm. bank tellers, mm -hmm. bank branch managers. So there's also a shift in the uh, organizational structure within mm. the bank itself. Mm. Right? And I guess it's the next five years that we will see, gradually see the transition mm. Uh, mm. within the bank and also the end-to-end uh, -end customers. Right. So regardless of any generations, um, they have to face change and adapt to the new things that is coming, right? Charles Darwin al always, you know, he, he has been saying this for a long, longest mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. You know, not, not the strongest that will survive. The species that are uh, able to adapt to change, mm -hmm. will, that are the ones who will, who will survive or win yeah, in, in the future. Right. Absolutely agree. Uh, good mm -hmm. talk. Thank you so much for coming today and sharing this with us. So this is Peace and Beyond, the programs that bring you from the expert inside. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching us and see you next time. Have a good time. Thank you.